Okay, let's talk about potatoes. There's two types of potatoes, actually. There's waxy and starchy. For the life of me, I don't know why they use the word waxy, but they do, so we have to live with it. Oh, an example of waxy potatoes are these. We see the small reds, the yellows, they even have the purple ones that come in the bag all together. Those are waxy. Waxy simply means that it has more water content and less starch. Hold that thought for a minute. That would be great for potato salad, right? The opposite of that is the baking potato. Heavy in starch, less water. Easy way to remember is you want a French fry. Do you want it made with a potato that has a high water content? Or do you want it made with a potato that has low water content and it's gonna be nice and crunchy? Because we all love a crunchy French fry. Anyway, forget that. Back to this. What do I think is the best potato out there? The most universal potato out there is the Yukon Gold. Why? Perfect level of starch, perfect level of water. So what happens when the Yukon Gold is being boiled, the starch, the granules in the starch absorb the water and get fluffy, and get big, and that makes perfect fluffy mashed potatoes. Now let's get on to a pet peeve. Ready? We've all seen this in the stores. There's different varieties. It really doesn't matter what the name is. They have all these containers telling you, new, microwave ready, the little potato company, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter really who it is, but I got a shocker for them. Potatoes can be microwaved for decades. Eh, probably ever since they invented the microwave. So you can spend $4 on this, which comes with one pound of potatoes, or you can spend $4 on three pounds of potatoes that can also be microwaved. So now you have the tools to make a more informed decision. I'm Ernie Hall. You're watching Just a Minute with Just the Cook. And remember, friends don't let friends eat fast food.